I became a student of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. All of his writings, uh, his speeches, what he stood for, how he lived, how he conducted himself, and it did have a profound effect on me to carry this law in the right way and also to celebrate the holiday in a right way and to do everything that I could to uh, disallow discrimination. After Dr. King's assassination, there was much more of an awareness of the things that were de facto segregation, such as having uh, the lower jobs and not being hired in jobs, uh, such as uh, not being admitted to colleges and to universities, uh, not receiving the same K through 12 education. And so then I became much more active then. And so I ran for state representative and then I was reelected six different times. And the first year that I was there, of course, it was 1980, and this was after Dr. King had been assassinated in 1968. And so there had been many uh, tributes, many resolutions, and uh, just a couple of bills that had been carried to honor him with a holiday. So here I was with this great big bill that was controversial, and I also had a resolution, too, because I knew the resolution would pass because it was a nice tribute to Dr. King with all of the wonderful words, but it was not a law to honor him with a holiday. And so I carried it for four years. The first year, I remember carrying it. I was getting prepared to go into the hearing room where it was to be held. That was supposed to start at 1.30 and I heard people singing, and this was just not planned, it just happened. And uh, they were singing Holiday, Holiday, Martin Luther King, Holiday, and people were coming down the street, it must have been about 400, and so they came to the state capitol. The chairman took the bill off the table. He would not allow for the committee to vote on it, and said that he would delay it for another two weeks. It's just wonderful that two weeks later, the same group of people plus more came down, and we had to have the hearing again in the old Supreme Court chambers. The bill died. It died. So that was the first time. The next year that I carried the bill, I deflated a lot of the negative statements of the committee members, such as, we already have too many holidays in Colorado. And so the bill died a second time on a tie vote. And so this time, I went into the committee. I had people from the business community. I had Republicans. I had Democrats. I had white, black, Hispanic. And so I presented the bill in the House, in all the readings, and then the bill went to the Senate. And the bill died in the Senate. And so I strategized on how to get that bill out of two committees onto the House floor and over to the Senate. I lobbied people in other parts of the state where these legislators who sat on both committees represented them, and they came down in busloads to the House of Representatives to testify where they had to watch their legislator and how that person was going to vote. And the bill came out of both of those hostile committees. And then it was presented on the floor, and it made it out of the House. And then finally, I moved the motions that approved and adopted the bill, and it was adopted. And that's the history of what happened to the legislation here in Colorado.